you could describe in one or two words how your current process makes you feel. One or two words? Yeah, just a couple. <laughs> CIS at RIT has a problem, and that is they have to generate packets for their credit cards and give them to RIT Finance every single month. Generating these packets is very time consuming based on the fact that it is a mixed use of Slack and Gmail and sometimes even missing approvals on different purchases that the admins have to sift through when creating these packets by hand. The purchasers have to send their receipts to the approvers via email who then have to reply to their messages via email saying the word approved and that they're saved so that the admins could look at them later. However, sometimes certain users will use Slack, which is while faster and maybe a better method, it creates problems for the admins that have two different ways to do this. Introducing ReceiptMinder. ReceiptMinder is a web-based process for handling these receipts. The purchasers upload a receipt to their system, the approvers are sent notifications to approve them, the admins review the receipts, generate the packet automatically before forwarding it to RIT Finance, making their process way faster. We are the Go-Getters team, and welcome to the GitLab Analytics Extension. Do you own or manage a company with software engineering employees and want to give them something to worry about on their performance reviews? Well, say no more. We have a solution. Our software allows management to monitor developmental performance by evaluating GitLab metrics, like velocity, which is the number of story points completed per sprint, or review time, which is the time from a merge request being open to closed, and so much more. We are using Grafana to visualize these metrics after being processed using the Python programming language, which calls and aggregates data from GitLab API endpoints. Potentially, we want to refactor this to create our own web interface if time isn't too constrained. If you are fired due to these metrics, we hope you receive good severance pay and luck on your future endeavors. Come gander with me as I walk through a cemetery, also known as a yard of memorials. Speaking of memorials, that reminds me of my senior project, Monuments and Memorials. It is a crowdsourced uh, web app that records all the monuments across the United States, relying on user data uh, to you know, help identify and make it all uh, easily accessible to, to anyone. Have you ever wondered if something had been done before? Exactly, that's the point of history, and that's why this web app's important. Analog art doesn't last forever, but digital art can. Archiving digital copies of irreplaceable artwork sounds as simple as taking a picture, but capturing an image through a camera will never match what the human eye sees. At some point, we've all tried taking a picture of something, like a sunset, and realize that a camera just doesn't do it justice. However, with the right calibration of color, accounting for brightness variations, dark current corrections, and other enhancements, images can get closer to what you'd see through your own eyes. Software that does this already exists, but can be extremely expensive. 
especially for smaller to mid-sized museums. Beyond RGB is an open source spectral imaging application that allows anyone with a computer to automatically calibrate images for free. Simply take images of a given artwork, dark field, light field, and color targets, each under two different lighting conditions, and input each image into the software. The result will be an uncompressed image of the artwork, color calibrated and as accurate to the original as possible. Are scheduling and tracking your manufacturing jobs proving to be a major headache for your company? Do you find yourself constantly re-entering data over and over again, possibly creating errors in the process? Do spreadsheets and out-of-the-box software solutions not seem to meet your needs and expectations? Introducing Project X. With our plugins, tracking jobs is a breeze. Multiple entries are a thing of the past. Use a streamlined solution tailor-made for your operational success. Project X, a Team Borealis and Aurora Machine collaboration. Call today. RIT is a big engineering school with lots of creative thinkers who require a space to create. With the addition of the shed to campus, RIT Makerspace will vastly increase in size and resources. This requires admins to look through multiple different spreadsheets to find all the information they need. There is also no current tracking system for designating if a student is properly trained to use certain equipment. The goal of this project is to implement a centralized web server, web portal, and database to help manage the new Makerspace. This project will feature online trainings, inventory management, student balance tracking, reservations, and user administration by staff and student mentors. Our project is a multispectral imaging system for the Humanities and Archives, also known as MISHA. This is an open source project aimed to provide a cost effective way for cultural heritage institutions to research and document artifacts in their collection. Our two applications work symbiotically to capture multispectral images and process those images for further analysis. The goal is to redevelop these applications in order to create a system that is more user friendly, accessible, efficient, reliable, and well documented. The system will also allow for the collection of metadata to help institutions better organize and analyze the results from the imaging system. To reveal a palimpsest, you have to use multispectral imaging, a process that collects images captured at wavelengths that can range from infrared through the visible spectrum to ultraviolet. Cultural heritage institutions of many sizes around the world all have collections that may contain palimpsests or other artifacts with new knowledge hidden under their surfaces. Current multispectral imaging systems are out of reach for our smaller institutions. We, the palimpsest pursuers, aim to make this technology much more accessible. This is a program funded by the National Endowment for the Humanities. Linnell S2, a carrier company, is a leading manufacturer of physical security products, including access control and video recorders. Due to Linnell S2's product complexity, vendors would like to dynamically create templates to fill out product configurations followed by their subsequent orders. A goal of our project is to create a better experience for Linnell S2 customers, which facilitates their process when deciding which Linnell S2 product they wish to acquire. As for future considerations, our project also takes into account maintainability, since we want to be able to add in new part configurations as new systems are being made. Another aspect we want to consider is the ability to extend the experience to have mobile capabilities, so that Linnell S2 customers could have an even easier experience. Right now, the project is focused on OnGuard, but there should be components and templates in place that'll allow for functionality of other products to configure, such as Netbox. JResolve is an open source dependency resolver for Java. Currently, Java has no built-in way to easily resolve dependencies from online repositories. When you compare it to dependency resolution for other languages, Python has pip, Node.js has npm, and Rust has cargo, which are all built in. Whereas Java, you have to use Maven, Gradle, Corsair, or any other various tools that are available. So the ultimate goal of this project is to create something that could be officially added to the JDK as a dependency resolution solution. Such that the 
dependency resolution solution will be alongside PIP, NPM, and Cargo as the definitive way you resolve dependencies for the Java language, and you don't have to go looking for any other tool separate from Java. The National Women's Hall of Fame is an integral part of the continued efforts to remember and celebrate the work of America's greatest women. With over 300 inductees, they work to tell the rich stories of dedicated women who have made phenomenal contributions in their field of work. With thousands of nominations each year, the process to select nominees and match them with judges to be reviewed is a logistical nightmare. Each individual nomination must be evaluated, combined with duplicates, and matched with judges in, with expertise in the nominee's field, completely by hand with pen and paper. This process takes almost eight months to complete. Our project's goal is to deliver a web portal that will provide tools for the National Women's Hall of Fame to conduct their matching process in the most streamlined way possible, saving the hall hundreds of hours a year in labor, allowing them to focus on expanding their outreach and achieving their goals to educate and inspire women across America. Oh hey, didn't see you there. As you know, we are Team Fly Guys, Drones in the Skies, sponsored by BAE Systems, and we have two Mavic uh, Enterprise 2 drones at our disposal. The down low for our project is to simulate large flight plans for planes or other UAVs using this guy, the little drone. Uh, this is mainly done to make flight plans and tests cheaper using payloads. So as you can see, we can demo a small flight plan in the field where it goes like this. But in reality, with the real flight plan would be over here, somewhere on the globe, going much larger, very big. And that's our project. Arolia time servers keep track of time with picosecond precision for mission critical applications. These time servers are utilized by military customers, stock exchanges, hedge funds, and data centers to provide precise time as well as synchronize the current time between devices. Currently, each time server needs to be individually accessed and configured, which can be a tedious, expensive process. Some customers have hundreds of devices and they need to be configured one by one. Our solution to this problem is the Mobile Configuration app, an Android app that will enable users to monitor and configure all of their time servers from a single location. This app will allow users to easily specify settings and apply them to multiple devices simultaneously, reducing the time and effort required for an organization to manage multiple Orolia devices. We're the Eco Nerds, and we've been working on center dependency this semester. Our sponsor is E2M, who provides approaches to reduce organizations and businesses' negative impacts on the environment. We're picking up this project from two previous teams as a game used to teach ISO 14001. This is a standard that specifies the requirements for an environmental management system, or EMS. This is also an optional standard, so organizations can choose whether to follow or not. If you've ever seen an ISO standard before, you've probably seen they can be quite esoteric and hard to read. So the purpose of this game is to make it accessible for everyone, to teach organizations how to reduce environmental risk and benefit from environmental opportunities. As for us students, what we get out of this is we get to work on a client-server architecture, build REST APIs, and implement a multiplayer feature. Along with this, we get to work on some classic game development issues and also work on some user experience related issues. This year, we're putting a little bit more focus on the accessibility. We're spending a little bit more time figuring out who would be using this device and how would they be using it. We're focusing with adaptive buttons or levers to remotely control the piano in addition to the MIDI file controlling the piano. 
the combination of those things can enable someone to play while they're in a wheelchair sitting across the room and not necessarily playing right onto the keys. I think it's really important that everybody has access to be able to explore, find out what's interesting to them, and also to make, to make music. Are you tired of being absolutely overwhelmed by a constant influx of emails? Are you tired of missing those important emails from your boss? Are you tired of sorting your emails for hours and hours, sorting and sorting, only to receive more? We have a solution for you. In collaboration with military contractor Lockheed Martin, our team of underexperienced developers has created email. Email uses artificial intelligence and machine learning in order to help you get a handle of your inbox. It sorts your emails between multiple categories, including important, approvals, external, spam, and more, and then sorts them by priority within their categories. Your days of manually sorting your emails and missing those important deadlines are over. Email, an email productivity application. Have you ever woken up and wondered, where am I? For the average healthy-minded individual, this is a temporary feeling that eventually runs away. For the elderly with dementia, this feeling can be substantially harder to shake off and can introduce anxiety and confusion into their lives. Forget Me Not aims to provide families and memory care facilities a way to work together to improve the quality of care for dementia patients. Families can, regardless of their proximity to the patient, send photos and videos of recent events in the family, or send digitalized photos of the patient from their lives. Families can narrate over these media forms to help the patient remember who they are, why they're in a memory facility, who can help them, and most importantly, how everyone else in their life is doing. Memories are what make us us, so let's help others keep them for as long as they can. What's wrong, Mr. Krabs? I know that smell. That smelly smell. That smelly smell that smells... smelly. BAD UNIT TESTS! What do we do, sir? Permission to come aboard. Look, Mr. Squidward, it's Spongebob with TS Detect. <laughs> Test Smells Detect is a powerful tool for detecting ear test smells. Just look at your unit test now. Some assembly required. Batteries not included. This only is directed. Do not use while operating a motor vehicle or heavy machinery. Do not eat. Not a toy. Our project is the Anti-Copy Paster, an IntelliJ plugin that encourages developers to make use of the refactoring menu when copying and pasting code. Developers copy and paste code all the time, but that doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. In fact, it leads to the duplication of bugs and errors, forcing developers to edit code in multiple places in order to fix a single bug. IntelliJ has a refactor menu which is built into every instance. However, users don't tend to use it due to a lack of knowledge of when it's appropriate. The plugin prompts the user at these times. Currently, the Anti Copy Paster plugin uses a trained AI model to determine when to show a pop up to prompt developers to use the refactor menu. However, this model isn't very transparent to the user for what the criteria for the pop up are. Our senior project is going to make this currently AI driven plugin use the metrics provided by IntelliJ in a customizable and transparent fashion, increasing use of the plugin and the refactor menu, improving the quality of code written around the globe. Hello there. We all know project estimation can be tricky and depend on a number of factors. Let me ask you this. Have you ever tried to estimate a project's duration and capacity but not really know where to start, what factors to consider, or haven't had much luck with the accuracy of your estimates? Boy, do we have quite the tool for you. Presenting Yes Estimate, name subject to change, an elegant, easy-to-use solution 
to allow development teams to estimate project duration and team size necessary to complete a project. And not just that, it will also have a feedback component so that the estimates rely on an increasingly crowdsourced information and improve over time. We all know how crucial the accuracy of an estimation can be. A good estimate allows for a more efficient allocation of resources and improved profits. And as Simon says, happy employees ensures happy customers, which in turn means happy shareholders. Thank you. We will not be taking any questions.